let me tell you about the most human, difficult, yet beautiful experience I have ever lived. Everything started on the 16th of October 2019 with a bucket list. Seventeen hours of troubling later. And here I am landing in Kilimanjaro Airport. After my arrival, I was picked up and transferred to a city called Arusha from where we would be leaving the next day to start our challenge. Climbing the Kilimanjaro. This is Karim, my friend who accepted to follow me and embark on this crazy adventure. Ready? Like every challenge in life, the first step is the most important. The one that pushes you in the unknown. The one saying, I commit to myself. Our first step was at 1800 meters at the Machame Gate, entrance of the Kilimanjaro National Park. We joined there all the porters and the rest of the team who would be helping us to carry all the gear, tents and food for the week. This is all the porters. No time to waste. After signing the register of the park, we started hiking through the jungle for three really steep hours. Okay. Keeps on raining. Let's go. Close to two hours walking. Still three times that. <laughs> okay. So, first camp. We're gonna stay the night here, and uh, we've got the tent over there. Raining, 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 keeps on raining, and it's super cold. That was tiring, and it was just three hours. Tomorrow's gonna be five, four, five, and then seven, and then eight. <laughs> oh yeah! Hello! <laughs> First day, done. We walked for like three hours. Um, we thought it would be longer, we thought it would be like five hours, but actually, you know, it was just three hours. Uh, we're in the tent, it's still raining outside. Can see a little bit. My shoes are Ooh. a lot of mud, and um, so we're staying here until tomorrow. I'm gonna eat later, sleep, it's gonna rain the whole night, it's gonna be cold, and Karim is already in his bed. Ready yeah. to sleep. I have to warm up. <laughs> it's it's, like super, it's actually super cold. It was a good day, really tiring. It kept on climbing. Up 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 up. We're gonna spend a bit of time here and then dinner and then uh, sleep. Cool. Bye. The second day is the moment you start understanding what it is going to take to climb the Kilimanjaro. And you realize that it is going to be long, steep and hard. Unfortunately for us, the sun was playing hide and seek behind the clouds and more rain was expected for the second long day of hiking towards the next camp. Headaches slowly started appearing with the altitude and the discomfort of constant rain was getting more intense every hour. 
but we were determined to go through the pain and we were still full of energy. It never stops climbing. Climbing, climbing, up, up, up. And these are our rocks that we are climbing. We're doing, doing a few stops from time to time to uh, drink, catch our breath, try not to slip on those uh, rocks. And uh, it's tough, I feel like. Uh, Like I'm running for like an hour and I'm trying to catch my breath but it's like like that the whole time. True cardio. Second camp. Ooh. End of the second day, we've got tea time. 3,800 meters. Almost 4,000. 4, so we're gonna reach tomorrow the 4,000. A bit of water, a bit of food, a bit of rest, and tomorrow will be, will be fine. Just, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's really cold. So, um, <laughs> and, and we're expecting snow apparently in the next day, so it's gonna be interesting. Everything is wet. Oh Cold, yeah, wet. We've got everything wet. It's been like so. raining again today. We keep on putting uh, on and off our like wet trousers, which is horrible. Every time you remove it, you're happy, and every time you you put it back, you're like. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> we saw the Kilimanjaro yesterday by night. We went to. Uh, we keep on drinking, so we keep keep on peeing. We woke up in the middle of the night, and uh, there it was. It was like perfect uh, blue sky. Full of stars, and, uh, and then we saw it. So at least we can say that we we've seen the Kilimanjaro, because <laughs> otherwise with all the clouds we wouldn't see it. We're at the second base camp, and uh, all the people arrived. They were putting the the tents. There's a lot of fog. Otherwise we would see like uh, I think the the forest, the jungle, and we would have like a really nice view. But yeah, it's foggy, so we can't see anything. It's fine, hopefully tomorrow will do better and this night we should be able to see a bit. We'll see. Gosh, look at that! Our tent! So messy. Yeah, one week like that. <laughs> if you were afraid of us starving, we're not. Uh -uh. Bon appétit. Sun is out. So we're drawing some stuff outside and uh, we might go for like a, a walk at some point. And it's so nice because finally we can dry our stuff. We're so happy. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> like eating, it's good. So good. <laughs> This temperature is like perfect. It's super cold this night. We're like frozen. Well, the tent was frozen actually. My head was uh, freezing for sure. His bum was frozen. I could hear it cracking. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was uh, really cold during the night. Um, yeah. yeah. But the view is perfect now. Yeah, the view is really nice. Worth it. We also have like pigeons here. Shirapik, Momeru, and then behind us the Shirapik, the Urupik. 
Momeru and the beast, the Kilimanjaro. Actually, the with sunshine. Sunshine. Ururu peak. Landscape has changed now. We're at uh, 4,500 meters, a little bit higher than that. And uh, the snow appeared. So we're gonna go climb a little bit more and then we'll go down just to get used to the altitude. It's great, it's fresh air and so far so good. No headache, just drinking a lot of water and uh, walking slowly. Pole pole. And uh, all good. And here is Karim and the rest of the group. Hey guys, Akuna Matata. What you are seeing here is the lava tower. It's a magma mountain, technically. There we go. Lava tower camp. We're here. Halfway. Ah. Lava Tower Camp, 4,600 meters, almost as high as the Mont Blanc. We made it. That's the Lava Tower. That's the team. Hello, team. Whew. I need some chocolate, and we keep on going. So we are at the third camp. We're gonna stay the night here. Um, we went pretty high today, went to 4,600 meters. Now we're down at 3,800 or 900 something. Going down was like really tiring. It was just rocks. I couldn't film because I didn't have any uh, battery anymore in my uh, in my GoPro. It was raining and um, yeah, it was really, really tough. I was fine, just a slight headache at some point. So I kept on drinking water, took some uh, paracetamol when we, uh, when we arrived. All fine now. Tomorrow we've got like a really, really long day, big day. We're gonna go up to 4,600 meters again, then down again to 3.8, then up to close to 5,000. Not looking forward for this one. We had dinner. We just took some really nice picture of the Milky Way. Yeah, we're gonna try not to die during the night because it's really cold. Okay, good night. Big morning today, it's the, one of the last day. Um, we're gonna climb up uh, until I think two or three o'clock. It's like seven, uh, seven, seven thirty now. And uh, tonight at midnight, we're gonna leave for the for the summit. So it's gonna be a full on day. I haven't slept much because uh, Mr. Karim was uh, snoring the whole night. <laughs> uh, but it's fine uh, when you wake up in this type of scenery it's pretty cool and uh, let me show you also over there pretty cool view we're above the clouds there you go look at that it's freezing in the tent the sleeping bag when we uh, when we wake up they are like all frozen outside super warm inside but in the in the tent it's just like it's really cold. Don't ask what he's doing. I have to warm up because it's <laughs> so cold. <laughs> so warm up. Warming up his, uh, his bum. Anyway, ready? Are ready? Yeah. Cool, we're gonna go then. Woohoo! It's cool. 
So, 4,200. Meet of the sea level. <sighs> Breakfast point. And this is a kili, right? Yeah, the kibo. But the summit is. Ah, look at that. <sighs> Above the clouds, it's like we're birds. <sighs> Having a break and, uh, and then we go down, right? Yes. Go back down this road, I guess. All right. How was it this morning? Ah, that's good. We're good. Yes, enjoy with my client. But um, Karim, a little shaking. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> right now. Yeah. I wasn't. Yeah. I wasn't shaking. But I'm oh happy. But it's fast. He's passing. Oh, uh, much care. stories. Yes. Make us much stories. We enjoy. It. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, of course, true. I also enjoy the stories. Oh uh, yeah, a lot of stories, right? Yeah, yeah. Man. You use this one? What is that? Dates. Oh, I love dates. I love dates. My mom knows that. <laughs> From this point, we went back down to Karonga camp at 4,000 meters. Without realizing, the altitude was slowly getting to us. We felt dehydrated, even though we were drinking a lot of water. Headaches started intensifying and our legs were getting weaker every hour. The scenery was not the only one taking our breath away anymore and we were facing extreme fatigue towards the end of the day. Just when you think everything is under control. The mountain reminds you that you should not underestimate it. Just when you think you can make it to the top, doubts grow in your mind. We arrived at the camp out of breath. Dehydrated. Our bodies were giving up, even though our minds still wanted to reach the summit. Other people started giving up around us with some forced to give up on their dream. This felt like the most physically and mentally exhausting and the hardest moment of our lives. However, it was only a sneak peek of what was waiting for us. Sleeping two hours, waking up at 11 p.m., leaving the camp right after midnight, wearing your warmest clothes, head torch on the forehead, poles in your hands, backpack on your shoulders, and you start this never-ending summit climb, 
seven hours where your body and your mind are fighting about which one is going to give up first. Your legs start not responding anymore. You are losing your balance. Your head hurts. What the hell am I doing here? One step, another one, and another one. Repeat. When the sun finally rises, you are at Stella Point, the second highest point of the mountain. Congratulations, you officially just spent the worst night of your life. This is what it feels like to climb the summit of Mount Kilimanjaro. The worst is now behind you, your body still in shock starts getting filled with adrenaline. Less than an hour and you will reach your goal. A few minutes to rest, drink an energy shot and eat a protein bar and we are now heading to our ultimate stop. Uhuru Peak, the roof of Africa. No more giving up. Team. Yeah, the whole team. Yeah, this is the glacier of the Kilimanjaro. Look at that. Look at this beauty. This is melting. There are 10 minutes to the peak. It's really windy. It's really cold. We can't stay for long up there. And there's a big black. Oxygen, obviously, which makes it hard to walk, to talk, to do everything. It's been five days to make it to this point. Reach the roof of Africa, top of Kilimanjaro. Hakuna matata, leo tuko hapa, 
Mwesha. Hakuna matata. Tunaenda zetu homu. Hakuna matata. Ujambo. Jambo bwana. Habari gani? This year I was reminded the hard way that life is short. I lost a friend from cancer and I know she would have loved joining me on this trip. Thus, I decided to climb this mountain not only for me or to take another item from my bucket list, but also for all the people who cannot do it anymore, as a symbol that we have to enjoy life to its fullest while we can and not be afraid of going out of our comfort zone. The people met along the way shared all one thing in common, this joy and zest for life. The Kilimanjaro is a difficult mountain to climb, but the Serengeti team took us to the top with almost always a smile on our faces. They welcomed us in their country and shared with us their culture, their view on life, and we all together shared our stories, which I have to admit were the cause of much laughter. To those extraordinary men, thank you. And to my dear friend Karim, Thank you for saying yes to this adventure. We made it, brother. What the Kilimanjaro taught me? Enjoy the ride. Be patient. Pole pole. And never give up. Hakuna Matata. Kilimanjaro, Kilimanjaro. Kilimanjaro, Kilimanjaro. Kilimanjaro, Kilimanjaro. Kilimanjaro.